Hello, my friends. Happy Thanksgiving 2016. And uh, I just finished working on my garden, giving it the last cleanup for the year. Got rid of a, a lot of stuff that was just lingering around that was going to die come the first frost. Which is pretty warm, unseasonably warm for, for us. Not only by, by now we have we have had our first frost and we haven't had our first frost yet. Our, for, our first frost date is November 16th and we haven't had it. Anyway, um, got some peppers here. These are poblano peppers. They're kind of small for, for poblano, poblano peppers. I don't know if it's a different variety, but they're pretty hot. And I got some more back there. And we usually slice these up and cook them up with the tomatoes and stuff like that. And um, I got a bed here that's filled with compost. I've been making this compost for about two years. And you can see there's a lot of eggshells and a lot of stuff starting to sprout because there were a lot of seeds of tomatoes and peppers in here. So they're all going to die, but I'm pretty sure next year I won't have to reseed this bed. So we're good here. And... Um, on this side, I got some asparagus that I'm just going to be cutting cutting down after the first frost. And some little peppers here, nothing major. I do have a lot of uh, transplants or, or little plants that I that I put in pots, like all these peaches that uh, they just grew from peaches that fell to the ground last year. And I put them in plants and pots. So I have about 10 or 12 of those and a bunch of rosemary that I got from cuttings and some figs that I got from cuttings too. So they're all doing okay. I'll probably put them put them next year or give them away or something. I don't have any more space to put them up here. And uh, I just cut a bunch of peppers from my habanero plants here. These two are just productive as, as hell. Uh, habanero plants are very, very productive, but the thing is nobody can eat those damn peppers. They're so hot. But I got something here. Some kind of rodent or something is eating them. <laughs> And they, they're taking them, taking them, taking them under, under there. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a lot of peppers growing here next year in this part of the garden. So it's all good. And anyway, we folks, uh, just this was just a quick update. And uh, well, the elections are over now, and uh, the 2017 year looks a little better than it looked last month, doesn't it? Uh, kind of. The prospect is much better under Trump than it would have been under Hillary, for sure. Um, so far, Trump's uh, cabinet positions, I'm okay with them. I, I'm not, uh, I, I like them. I was a little surprised by Ren's previous chief of staff, but uh, but I guess he's okay. No, not a big deal there. And uh, just keep on, keep on prepping because we still have something going on in the markets that is pretty pretty weird you know uh, there's some exuberance here some irrational exuberance to the markets right now that uh, it's unjustified uh, given the the kind of debt that we have and the economic numbers that are coming out and uh, there's a big sell-off on the bond market so I would I would I would be very cautious right now about getting into any big debt or anything like that and uh, as a prep I know we don't talk about much of here about prepping about jobs and stuff like that but uh, you know do an inventory of your skill set see what you have learned at your job in the last two three years update your resumes keep your resumes crisp and updated and uh, if you don't have a LinkedIn account open one up I mean that's nobody sends resumes anymore okay so you open up a LinkedIn account and uh, update it and and get in touch with old buddies that are in the industry or college buddies whatever just keep your your skills up to date on your resume so that people can see them because uh uh unlike a, a war or an emp or something else yeah, an economic collapse uh, one of the first things to go for a lot of people is this their job and that's a that's a major shit hit the fan is because on that job hang a lot of things your your house your mortgage your car payments, etc. So it's good to always be ready to make a jump or at least be in, on good terms with buddies of yours that can help you out or you can help them out if they lose their job. But just keep your keep your skills up to date and keep your resumes updated. I mean, that's, a, that's as good a prep as anything else. And um, well, folks, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy your Thanksgiving dinner. 
Uh, ours is about to come out of the oven and we're gonna start digging in a few minutes so happy thanksgiving until next time